Hi everyone, I'm George and welcome back to the Anime Grow. Today it's time for Ruby, World of Remnant, number one, Dust, and episode five of the second season, if I recall correctly. So, uh, first of all, I'm really sorry there are uh, no decorations in the back and that it's been a couple days I didn't upload any videos, but I've been trying to build my new setup. It's already completed, but I happen to have trouble lighting it so I don't know how to record there because I have lighting problems yeah <laughs> basically I don't I can't get a good image so that's what that's why it took me so long to get to record again and now I'm recording uh, temporarily over here in my room again but as I was going to say today we're going to check the first world of Rem world of remnant documentary which I've been recommended a lot and I think it will be really fun and we'll also be doing the next episode because it's actually really short this first documentary and that's why we're going to complement it with the next episode so <laughs> I think that's enough this isn't a market substitute so grab your legal copy and watch it along with me this is Crunchyroll and remember my footage isn't substitute for the market release it's just support for my commentary and if you enjoy my content, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Keepers of the Grove and help me continue growing the channel. But now, without any further ado, let's just get into it. Record. Ruby, World of Remnant, number one, Dust, go! It's really loud for me, it's so loud I can't quite hear myself talking. But, um, it was also my birthday and these are my new headphones. And I can't... Uh, change the volume I listen to it here so um, for you to listen to it properly this is really loud for me okay dust so are we going to learn about dust I'm guessing but dust by definition it is a naturally occurring energy propellant that can be triggered by the aura of humans and faunas Okay, so it in reality, it is much, much more. Well, okay, then found I'm in going four to wait. basic forms, dust can be combined both artificially and naturally to form new, okay. stronger types, each with unique properties. Will they tell us? Or Since its discovery, man has. I'm going to go back in a second at the risk of talking about something they're going to talk about, but they seem to be just wind, earth, um, water and fire, basic I guess. Forms. Really cool, Dust I love those four basic elements, but I've seen many natural. others like people, new, including types, metal or wood properties. in the elements. Since its discovery, man has concocted a multitude of ways in which to harness the powers of these mysterious crystals. From airships to androids, dust has made its way into practically every facet of technology. Okay, but uh, as they said in the beginning, don't you need to have aura in order to activate dust? So, does there always need to be a uh, need to be um, a technician next to the machinery that it's working with the dust in order to activate the dust with their aura or not? And also. If I recall incorrectly, please let me know, but if I'm not wrong, aura is something accessible to everything with a soul, but we, but not everyone has natural power over it, you know what I mean? Not everyone can use their aura naturally, they have to train or, um, train it, so just like John, if I, if I remember correctly, so do all... Is it uh, true then that only the people that can manipulate aura can actually use the dust? Or is it everyone, but you just need a little bit of that dust? Some prefer to use dust in its raw form. Elegant, yet destructive. Okay. Those who choose to wield dust in this state must possess a certain level of discipline to ensure that their resulting powers do not break free from their control. Okay. Dust ammunition serves as a more practical application in today's modern society. And I'm guessing the technological advancements everyone's weapon weapons use these the right shells, for the job and this ammunition. While okay. this has become the standard method of use, it is not uncommon to find individuals still practicing more archaic forms of dust manipulation. 
such as weaving it into clothing. Oh, that's so cool. Directly with their own bodies. Oh, is it like... Is that like when Jang gets mad and uh, like goes through that um, emotion threshold? Is that dust infused in the in her uh, head? Despite working, fighting, Wait, and even were those before elements? Okay, yeah, it's only those. Despite four. working, fighting, and even turning a profit. Hey. Humanity has still yet to understand how dust came to be, and more importantly, how their involvement with dust will ultimately change the world of Remnant. That's true. I, I was wondering what. Wait. Okay, so I was wondering, um, is dust natural? I mean, was it in Earth naturally, or did humans? and or faunas create it or maybe develop develop it from something from something that was there before i don't know but i wonder if it's something natural maybe the consequences of abusing it won't be as hard as if it's something completely man-made and thus not something accounted for in nature i don't know how to put it I know nature doesn't account for things that can happen, but you know what I mean. So I wonder if dust is natural or if it's a human uh, creation. Um, but now let's jump into the next episode, Ruby Season 2, Episode 5 Reaction, go! Yo, this is so loud every time, catches me by surprise. Let me know if the volume is okay, if you can hear me properly, if the opening is too loud, maybe. I don't know, just let me know, because I want to get it perfect, but since now I can't quite lower the volume in my earphones, I can't hear anything I'm saying. And again, I'm sorry for the they say it wasn't uploading but it was the sum of me not being able to record in the new room and I can literally say hear anything I'm saying and my birthday making me lazy so that's it god I really hope you're able to hear me because if you can't hear me because the volume is too loud I don't know what to do anymore Is this a past when Pira used to fight, or is this now? Yo, oh, by the way, um, a couple of people were talking about in the comments about the ins possible inspiration for Penny. Leaving aside that I just remember talking about it, that last night I dreamt that she was inspired in Pennywise. Never mind that, just because of the names, I guess. I'm feeling like she's Pinocchio, because um, if I don't recall incorrectly, Pinocchio did have... Um, ah, there was something with hiccups, but I can't quite remember, but also um, she's like a... not like a puppet, she's a robot, but... Ah, I don't know how to put it. The fact that she's not human from the beginning, but acts like a human because she does have a soul, I don't mean that, and she wants, wants to be a real girl, but she's not because she's been created by someone else and she's supposed to act like someone else does tell her to act like, like they're her puppeteer, you know what I mean? But I don't know, um, possibly I'm wrong, just let me know. If it's not spoilers. Oh, I think this is what we saw in the opening and I was really dumb about thinking it was Neptune and stuff. Like making theories up. Yeah, this is it. Destroy Cardin. Let's go, Peter. I love that she can break all of them at once. 
she's so overpowered. You. Oh, oh. And where's Jan? Aren't they like fighting together? Yo. By the way, I just realized I didn't comment on the fact that I think Yo, that was so cool. It was like Sonic the Hedgehog. But well I talked about I will talk about it after the fight ends. Yo, so Cardin is stronger than I thought. I thought he was a little bitch, but he's actually he can hold his ground. He could even deflect uh, Fira's shots with her with his weapon. Wait, what? Did she use her neck as an axis? That was so cool! Yo, that was sick! Yo! Cardin, an asshole like every, every time. I love she uses her shield as propulsion. Nice screen carding. Damn. Lucky shot. <laughs> Lucky shot. Well done, Miss Nichols. I don't think so. No problem qualifying for the tournament. Thank you, Professor. Let's go. All right. Now I know that's a tough act to follow. But we have time for one why was she time. fighting all three or four of them? I didn't count them, I'm sorry, but I thought she was only fighting Cardin, or is it like, I don't know, were they all fighting and only Cardin was left, or was it a simulation? I have no idea. Match. Any volunteers? Oh, I was going to say about Pyrrha that her sword is a uh, gladius, I believe, which is a type of sword that uh, was popular in the Roman times. And it's a double-edged sword, if I'm not wrong, and has that particular short but conic shape. I think it's that, but if I remember, I will try to put an image over here to try to compare it. Miss Belladonna, you've been rather docile for the past few classes. Why don't you... I'll do What's it. up with you? Mercury, is it? Very well. Yo, Mercury? You an opponent. Yo, Actually, fuck. I want to fight her. Me? I'm afraid Miss Nikos has just finished a match. We just saw Pira mop the floor no, with all of them. Fine. So, I'd be happy to oblige. Was that just a show of Pira's force just to show us that Mercury is even stronger? I hope she does fine because, like, his kicks are so dangerous. Imagine he straight up kicks her in the face and blows it away, blows it off, I mean, blows it up. Fuck. Like, how do you defend from explosive kicks? Explosive kicks? Okay, so he learned that he can't just rush her. But I thought it would explode. Maybe he can control when it explodes or... Yeah, okay, so I think those are explosions. Hmm. Hey, your friend Not bad. Good. <laughs> she hates Ruby already. Hey, your doing pretty good. <laughs> Come on. Yo! Yo, Pirra can hold her ground too on hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's well, hand-to-hand. -hand. That's sick. <laughs> he can't get her. What is he scheming now? I forfeit. <gasps> Why though? Did he just want What's to test her? You're a world-renowned fighter. We're obviously leagues apart. In that case, you she knows he was just not doing everything he could. I think she can feel that. As sparring mates. I'll be sure to do that. Come on, Glenda. 
He's clearly evil. This weekend, but you all have your first mission on Monday. I will not accept any excuses. Learning is so much fun. Um, by the way, so here in this fun. shot, she kinda does remind me of Cleopatra. I don't know, her skin tone and her um, haircut kind of give me that vibe. Also her uh, arm bracelets, but I don't know. It was just something that came up to my head quickly, but so much fun. those ponytails don't really fit on that idea I just had, so I don't know. Hey Blake, you uh, doing okay? I'm fine. <clears throat> so I hear there's this dance going on this weekend. That uh, sounds pretty lame, but you and me. Maybe if you wanna come, lame, it's huh? not as lame, yeah. The dance this weekend. You wanna go or what? I don't have time for a stupid dance. She looks you of really tired, go, right? What? I Look at her. She looks destroyed. I don't have time for a stupid dance. I thought you. She's of so tired. Had. And you don't need to be mean, <laughs> poor son. You hmm. what? We want you to go to the dance. That's ridiculous. Blake, we're worried about you. This investigation is starting to mess with your head. You can't sleep, you hardly eat, and to be honest, your grades have been suffering. You we can tell about grades? People's it's lives taking are a toll on her. We know, and we're all still trying to figure out what Portrait is up to. Thanks to you and Son, we know they're operating somewhere outside of Southeast Vale. And the city company records singled out Vale as the primary target for dust robberies over the last few months. Don't okay. forget about their missing military tech too. But they're still so we're on the trail. Blake, you won't be able to find Relax, Blake. You can't even keep your eyes open. All we're asking is that you take it easy for if one you're not day. And we'll be completely fine. And I will make on your toes. Yeah, we're planning the whole is that ex the expression? You know what I mean. You need to be completely alert to be able to help people and like that you're not so Day. just go that to sleep <laughs> just Day one and night make sure of it. Yeah, we're planning the whole event. well and uh, relax and go to the event so why should i rush to pick up where they left off and now we can make sure you have the perfect night and once it's all over we'll return to our search rested and ready so what do you think just one night i think this is a colossal waste of time but is she agreeing though? I'll be in the library. Is that a yes? No. Oh, come on. We can't keep going like this. <laughs> she gonna fall asleep fall asleep on the on her way to the library. Come on! Open the door. <laughs> Push on, give him a chance. Maybe he learned. Why should you? Will you accompany me to the dance on Sunday? Okay, that's much better than I expected, though. I thought I was going to say like maybe he even learned a song, but. No, I, I don't think he did, but that's even much better than I would have yes? done, so... No. What? And Cold. that is why they call you the Ice Queen. All my yeah. boys have only cared about the perks of my last name. Besides, I don't think John is into life. that. Date or no date, none of this will matter if we can't get Blake to go. Oh, oops. So, was Weiss going with Neptune, or did I dream that? I think I might have seen that last episode. So let's go with that being canon. If it's not, shout me, shout at me in the in the comment section below. But so Neptune is going with Wise to the event, but Sun wanted to go with Wise, and Ruby also wanted to go with. No, that was for the other exercise. Everyone wants to uh, to be with Wise. 
and I don't think any of them wants to be with her because of her last name, so... But John, you have Pira here! I don't know, I don't think Pira necessarily likes John, but she kind of acts like she maybe does. I've thought of that from the beginning, but... I'm actually thinking maybe we just skip Aura tonight. Might go on a jog or something. Come on! I know you get frustrated, but you must keep trying. I'm sure we'll discover your semblance any day now. That's... Let's go! It's just... It's dumb. What is it? John, you know you can tell me. Miss Weiss. Oh. Uh. What about her? Dog, that's so sad. Big surprise, right? Ah. Well, I believe that no. the rain goes, there's plenty of fish in the sea. That's so sad. She can't even fake it. Clamoring over each other just to ask you out. <laughs> You'd be surprised. If you knew, John. If oh, you knew. Please. If you don't get a date to the dance, I'll wear a dress. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> That's so I'm sad. Piranigos. Ah, the invincible girl. She's smart. But I wouldn't say invincible. They're scheming. Her semblance is polarity. But you'd never know just by watching. After she made contact with my boots, she was able to move them around however she wanted. But she only made slight adjustments. Just enough to make it look like she's untouchable. She doesn't broadcast her power, so it puts her opponents at a disadvantage. Okay, so it looks like her opponents do worst, and she does better when she's actually just... Yeah, she's like... Interesting. Add her to the list. What list? You should be able to take her no problem. It's not about overpowering the enemy. It's about taking away what power they have. And we will. In time. Does she mean to? Maybe this is a long shot, but do they want to take semblances from them? What is that needle for? Never a needle has been that terrifying before. What does she want to use it for? Damn. So, this episode, damn. Poor Pirra, she wants to go with John, but John just wants to go with Wise. And Wise, I think, is going with Neptune. Damn. And Sun wants to go with Blake to the uh, event, too, but she doesn't want because she's too invested in her. Well, in their case. But she doesn't even recognize she has to sleep to stay up to the task so this is so intricate and I wonder does anyone want to go with Ruby to the dance and with Yang or uh, what's the deal with that part does anyone have interest on them but or do they have interest on anyone but also so once you, you get to train your aura you get your semblance that makes sense it usually should work like that, but I haven't make the, made the connection. So I was thinking before when they were talking about semblances, like what would chance semblance be? But then I remember, uh, but then not that I remembered, I wasn't sure, I didn't know. But then they said that John doesn't have a semblance yet. So really interesting on that end. Now, as always, there's probably a lot to talk and uh, a lot of things that I left behind, but I don't have the time right now to continue going on it, so thank you so much for visiting my channel and for staying to the end of the video, and we'll have further discussion and possibly even more World of Remnant uh, documentaries on next episode, so peace out.